Hi, I'm Jack Yarnell, Digital Marketing Service Engineer for Matcon, and today in this short video, we're going to be walking around the periodic inspections to make on your IBCs. First up is the band clamp. An inspection should be made to ensure that the nuts that hold the adjuster are tight and that there's no permanent and obvious damage on the rim of the band clamp. Next up is to inspect the lid seal. Run your finger around it and ensure there's no obvious splits or cracks and make sure it's clean and ready for use. Following that, we inspect our lids. We make sure the lids are nice and flat and they've got no obvious dings and cracks in the side of them, ensuring the handle remains intact also. Following this, we move on to the actual IBC itself, inspecting the stackers to ensure the angle's good and the welds around them are good and not cracking. We then make sure our cold ho card holders are in good condition and they're not hanging off or removed. Down to the bottom, we inspect the feet to make sure they're flat so the IBC sits level on the discharge station and floor. During the IBC inspection, a critical check to make is on the four anti-tilt bars, ensuring they're intact and in good condition. Once the cone has been removed from the IBC, we make a general inspection to ensure the fabrication is in good condition. We ensure the seal is not damaged and there's no flat spots. And we check the bond in to ensure it's still fastened to the cone itself. Following an IBC wash, the inside should be checked to ensure it's clean and dry before filling and going back into production. We hope you found this video informative if you have any further questions, please feel free to visit us on our website where you can also find more information about our preventative maintenance plans that we offer.